Assalamualaikum alaikum dear friends today i am here to explain and calculating the standard error of estimate of multiple regression that video is very very important for you so must watch this video till end if you want to get more concepts and and have a expert in calculating standard error of estimate so let's start the video here data is given y x1 x2 we have to calculate the s y dot 12 standard error of estimate because y shows x value 1 shows x1 i have already discussed that 1 shows x1 and 2 shows x2 so here we have to calculate y.12 standard error of estimate we know that we know that the formula of standard error estimate that is very simple as y dot 12 that the standard error of estimate of regression is equal to square root of summation y minus y hat ka whole square y hat completing square divided by n minus c that's the formula of standard error of estimate which we have to calculate under to summation y minus y hat that's the hat completing square divided by n minus c which we uh, if we calculate k root of n minus c we have we know that summation y minus y whole square may be written as summation y square minus a summation y is that clear minus b1 summation x1 y minus b2 summation x2 y so that means summation y minus y square square we can written as summation y square minus a summation y minus b1 summation x y minus b2 summation x y that's the formula for that so square root of that we have to calculate the standard of estimate for that we have some requirements what's the requirements we have to calculate a b1 b2 that's the formula for calculating a b1 b2 and for that we have to calculate x1 y x2 y whatever so first uh, first of all we have to cal uh, we have to calculate the table and some then putting the value then program will be then example will be wider so let's start here uh, that is given y x1 x2 that is given y x1 x2 write as y 30 22 uh, 16 next value 7 7 and 14 why not next value is x1 10 uh, 5 10 3 2 next x2 is given 15 8 next 12 7 and 10 for from that we will get submission y as a requirement for that we will require submission x1 y Submission x2. From that we will calculate submission, but we have requirement more. When requirement are x1 y. For that we have to calculate the table x1 y. We can write as capital letters and small letters, not uh, not any confusion. Jo, uh, whenever you want x1 y, small x1 y as it is. X1 y next is given x2 y. X2 y x x2 y we have to calculate x2 y and more x1 x2 we have to calculate x1 x2 next we have to calculate uh, x2 y we have calculated x1 y we have calculated x1 x2 we have to calculate x1 square we have to calculate x1 square and x2 square and have to calculate x1 square and x1 square and x2 square next is given we have requirement that completed x1 by by x1 by is that clear x2 by clear x1 x2 clear x1 square x2 square clear or more x1 x2 is clear and i have question why does x2 by x2 by uh, x2 by we calculated x1 by is that clear next we calculate then x1 by very simple first of all we take submissions from calculator 
First of all, we add up them to get solution Y. Let's start. 30 plus 22 plus 16 plus 7 plus 14. When we add up them, we get 89. Solution Y is 89. Next, we calculate solution X1. 10 plus 5. Uh, 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 3 plus uh, 3 plus 2 we get 30. Solution x y is 30. Is that clear? Next we, next we add up x2. 15 plus 8 plus 12 plus 7 uh, plus 7 plus 10. We get 52. Solution x2 is 52. Next, we can add up and multiply x1 y. For x1 y, we have to multiply by x1 and y. Very simple. 30 multiplied by x1 y. 30 multiplied by 10, we get 300. 300. Next, uh, next 100 is here. 22 multiplied by 5. 22 multiplied by 5, uh, double 1 0. Double 1 0. Next, 16 multiplied by 10, 16 multiplied by 10, we calculate 160. Next, next we calculate 160. Next we calculate 7, 3, 21 and 14. 14 to the, 14 to the 28. We get 28. Next we calculate x to y. Next we calculating that, next, next we calculating that, x to y. Next we calculating that x to y. Very simple. Just like before, x and y have we have calculated. Now I am calculating that x to y because I have a requirement. Very simple. 30 multiplied by 15. We check that 30 multiplied by 15 450. 450. Next we move 22 multiplied by 8. 22 multiplied by 8. 176. 1 76. Next, 16 multiplied by 12. 16 multiplied by 12. Remember 192. Next, uh, 7, 7 is 49. Is that clear? Next, last 14 multiplied by 10. We have get 140. Is that clear? Next, we calculate x1, x2. Now, I am calculating that x1. Now, I am calculating that we have requirement x1, x2. We have calculating x1 and x2. We have to multiply together x1 and x2. Very simple. 10 multiplied by 15. 150. 150. Next we move uh, 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 8. 40. 5 multiplied by 8. 5 multiplied by 8. 40. Next we move there. 10 multiplied by 12. Next we move there. 10, 10 multiplied by 12, we get 120. 10 multiplied by 12, we get 120. Next, 7, 3 is a, uh, 7, is just like before, 7, 3 is a 21. Is that clear? 10, 2 is a 20. Next, we moving x1 scale. Very simple, x1 scale, very simple. We have to scaling each value of x1. 10 scale, 100. 5 scale, 25. Uh, 10 square, we have get 10 square, 10 square 100, 3 square 9, 2 square 4. Next last x2 square, now we are calculating x2 square, 15 square, uh, we are calculating 15 square, 225, 225. Next we calculate 8 is the 64. Uh, 12 square, well, I think 121. 12 square, and uh, no, sorry, 12 square 144. 12, 144. Um, 7, 7 is a 49. 7, 7 is a 49. 10, 10 is a 100. So we, now we calculate submissions. From that we calculate submission x1, y. From that we will calculate submission x2, y. Submission x1, x2. Is that clear? Next moving submission x4 where we calculated submission x1 square, submission x2 square. Now we calculate submission 
tuition x1 by for that 300 plus double one zero plus 160 plus 21 plus 28 we get the answer 619 so tuition x1 by is 619 next we move 450 for uh, 450 plus 176 plus 190 uh, 192 plus 49 plus 140 we calculated that 1007 1007 so we calculated that value next x1 x2 150 plus 40 plus 120 plus 21 plus 20 we can create the value 351 351 next moving x1 square 100 plus 25 plus 100 plus 9 plus 4 we can create the value 238 238 and last second last 225 plus 64 plus 144 plus 49 plus 100 we get the value 582 582 so we calculated all sums we can write it here summation y summation x1 summation x2 we calculated summation x1 was calculated 89 summation x1 was calculated 30 summation x2 we calculated 52 Next, we calculate it. Submission x1 by submission x1 by which uh, submission x1 by submission x2 by submission x1 by was 619 619 1007 submission x2 by next submission x1 x2 submission x2 x2 and uh, we calculate it 351 351 is that clear? Next we calculate is mission x1 mission x2 scale. Submission x1 scale and last mission x2 scale. Submission x1 scale was 238. 238. Submission x2 scale was 582. Next, next, the next portion is very simple. Just put all sums, just put all sums in a B1, B2A, then we calculate B1, B2A. Very simple. Next, we are calculating B1, B2, and A. So much for this video. Next step is very, very important for you. Next, I am starting that B1, B2. Simple, we write that put all sums, all sums in 1. And if we, if we put all sums in, in B1, B1 is equal to now we calculating B1. Very simple, just focus that. Here is submission x1 y. Here is submission x1 y. Where is submission x1 y? Submission x1 y is given as 619. Submission x1 is given as 619. Put that here. 619. Is that clear? Very simple. Submission x2 scale. Where is submission x2 scale? Submission x2 scale is here 582. 582. That's what submission x2 scale minus next move submission x2 y submission x2 y where 1007 1007 next we give us submission x1 x2 where is submission x1 x2 is 351 351 is that clear 1007 351 is that clear next moving uh, here submission x1 square where is submission x1 submission x1 square is here 238 238 Next here, submission x2 square. When submission x2 square is given as 582. 582 uh, minus like submission x1 x2. Where is submission x1 x2? Submission x1 x2 given here 351. 351 completing square. Next we solve that and we get B1. Very simple. Uh, 619. We now we calculate 619 multiply by 582. 619 multiplied by 5 and it will get that 360258 minus 1007 1007 multiplied by 351 1007 multiplied by 351 we get 3 
five, three, four, five, seven. Three, five, three, four, five, seven. Next, you multiply that. Two thirty-eight. Two thirty-eight. Uh, two thirty-eight. Multiply by five. Uh, five eighty-two. We get one three eight. Uh, five one six minus three five one six. Computing skill. Uh, three five one. Computing skill is here. One two three. One two three two zero one. Now we calculate that. It's very simple. Three six. Uh, three six. Uh, subtraction together. Three six zero. Two five eight minus three five three. Uh, four five seven. Three five three four five seven. We get the answer six eight zero one. Six eight zero one. Next last uh, in the remainder one thirty uh, denominator one thirty eight five one six one thirty eight five one six minus one two three or uh, two zero one. We get the answer one five three one five three one five. We get the divide that six eight six eight zero one divided by one five three. One five divided by six eight zero one divided by one five three one five. We calculated the value zero point triple four zero point triple four. That's value we have. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can must subscribe to my YouTube channel. Goodbye.